Explosions were reported in Russian-occupied Luhansk as Moscow-installed head of the region Leonid Pesechnik claimed a missile attack on the city. Telegram channels shared photos and videos showing a major fire in Luhansk. It broke out near the infrastructure facilities of the former Luhansk Higher Military Aviation School and the nearby aircraft repair plant, Luhansk Oblast Governor Artem Lysohor said. Russia's Pesechnik said that information on damage and casualties is being clarified. The Ukrainian military has not yet commented on the reports. It is noted that cluster missiles hit a military aviation school and an airfield. Several S-300-400 launchers, radar stations and air defense missile systems command posts were based in the area. The group's officers also lived on the territory of the military educational institution. The impact also hit the place where the officers were staying, and many of them may have died. The so-called head of Luhansk Oblast said that the city was hit by cluster munitions, which caused a fire. The Russian Ministry of Emergency Situations, law enforcement agencies and medics arrived at the scene. Information on the damage and casualties is being established. Russian news organization RIA reports a series of explosions in Luhansk. Ukrainian war bloggers likewise release their own images, demonstrating what is said to be a significant fire in the Russian-controlled city in eastern Ukraine. Ukraine targeted a Russian military base in Luhansk suburb of Yuvalain on May 20, Lysohor said. A week before, a Russian ammunition depot reportedly exploded in the occupied town of Sorokin in Luhansk Oblast. Russia had occupied Luhansk and a significant part of the region since the start of its war in 2014. A drone belonging to Defense Intelligence of Ukraine attacked the Voronezh M long-range target detection radar station located in the city of Orsk in Russia's Orenburg Oblast on May 26. Voronezh M is part of a family of Russian long-range stationary over-the-horizon radars. It is designed to detect space and aerodynamic targets, including ballistic and cruise missiles. This radar operates in the 1-meter waveband and has a target detection range of up to 6,000 kilometers. For the first time since the start of the full-scale invasion, Ukraine attacked facilities in Orsk, some 1,800 kilometers from the drone's launch location, according to the source. A Ukrainian drone has covered a distance of more than 1,800 kilometers to the enemy's facility, setting a new record for the range of destruction for kamikaze drones, source of Ukrainska Pravda said. Russian media claimed on May 26 that a drone fell in the Orsk suburbs in the Novorsk district, allegedly targeting a military facility. No damages or casualties were reported. Ukraine's military intelligence also struck another Voronezh radar in the village of Glubokiai in Krasnodar Krai on May 23, causing a fire at the facility, according to the source. In early May, another Ukrainian long-range drone hit an oil refinery, Gazprom Neftikim Salavat, in Russia's Republic of Bashkortostan. The drone, operated by the State Security Service, covered 1,500 kilometers to strike the target, a record-breaking distance for Ukraine at the time. This small medical center treats wounded Russian military personnel. In two hours, more than 40 people were processed. The man began to stutter. This is a different hospital, but the situation is absolutely similar, there is a lack of linen and medicine, the corridors are clogged. Medical care in Russian troops has been somewhat horrendous and it seems like they're lagging decades behind when it comes to adequate treatment of their own forces. Earlier, UK Ministry of Defense said that up to 50% of Russian soldiers being killed in combat were dying preventable deaths. Russian soldiers were being advised to use women's sanitary products as first aid supplies. Another concern when it comes to battlefield medical care is how close the wounded are to a hospital. The Ukrainians have been resourceful in setting up care close to combat, 
using the basements of blown-out buildings as treatment centers or doling out care from trucks that can move at a moment's notice. Because Russia has targeted hospitals with strikes, Ukraine has also been somewhat forced to seek out more hidden spots to issue treatment. Still, Russia has one clear advantage over Ukraine that could compensate for their inferior medical care, the sheer number of potential soldiers, coupled with the long-standing Soviet military doctrine of throwing waves of people at your enemy. Yeah. Mm-hmm.